Yo people, what's going on? Manchester United have gone and done it again. They've lost 1-0 away from home. Last time it was Brighton, this time it's West Ham. And David De Gea, what are you doing? If it wasn't clear before to Eric Ten Hag, we need to sort out our goalkeeper position in this transfer window. Now we have a whole load of positions we have to sort out. And that may mean we don't even fix it, which could lead to more potential issues further down the line. But David De Gea today, absolutely abysmal goalkeeping to gift Ben Rama a goal, gift West Ham three points and give Manchester United a defeat, which sees Liverpool a point behind us in fifth spot. Although we have a game in hand, although we have three games at home against Fulham Wolves and of course Chelsea, Manchester United need nine points to confirm that top four spot with four games left and we're playing atrociously at the moment absolutely atrociously not creating chances the chances we are creating we're not putting them away absolutely abysmal and to make things worse we're making horrible mistakes at the back late on against Brighton Luke Shaw handballs one gives them a penalty gives them three points and today it's David De Gea but it was a poor poor performance all around for Manchester United I can't really remember a clear cut chance there was one where Martial inexplicably headers it into the ground instead of at the at the goal. Um, maybe, I, I, I don't even, maybe he's just in front of the goal too much and trying to get it back. But that was the only chance I can really think of and that's the problem. <laughs> Where are our chances? Like, what's happening? Why aren't we creating anything? And again, you kind of go back to the goalkeeper. Now look, we could be a lot better. And there were times in... West Ham's final third today or in West Ham's half of the pitch where we'd have the ball and I'd go, right, let's complete a few passes. We complete one, two, give it away on the third. One, two, three, give it away on the fourth. And we were never able to build up any sort of play. But also the ball hardly ever got to midfield because of the fact that our goalkeeper was giving the ball. We were kind of doing this short thing to Lindelof who was then going back to the goalkeeper who was then going long anyway. Why not just boot it long from the first place? And then when we are give, giving it long through David De Gea because you can't find a pass, we're giving 50-50 balls. 50-50 balls means you're going to win some, you're going to lose the other. That means half the time the ball's coming back at us. And it felt like more than half the time today. And it just, not only are you making them mistakes and chucking them in your own net, but the way you're dealing with the ball with the ball at your feet is putting us under pressure constantly. It's meaning we can't build attacks. So whilst, yes, we didn't create any chances today, we hardly got the ball through the midfield into the attackers anyway. And when we did get the ball to the, to the midfielders, as I said, couldn't complete more than three passes. Now, I think there's a lot of different things that we can put down to these performances. You know, a lot of midweek games for Manchester United, a lot of fixtures for Manchester United, loads of all these different kind of excuses. But you've got to put in your performances against Brighton. Take your chances. We had them. Take them in this game against West Ham. Wake up. We're playing against a team that's battling relegation. And yes, we should have been comfortable. I said after the Brighton game, I'm not too concerned. Now you're concerned because you're playing badly. You're giving them hope. And you're putting pressure on yourself. The more hope you give Liverpool, the more pressure you're putting on yourself. And we've done it again there today. Absolutely atrocious from Manchester United. Really, really bad stuff. Um, what is David De Gea doing, man? I just don't get it. And we started off okay, to be honest. First 15 minutes, we created a few chances. Anthony should have scored his. Rashford had one, uh, which just brushes the post. Bruno has another. We didn't play too badly. We have some good possession. And then against the runner play, Ben Rama has a shot. David De Gea should be putting his hat on it. He lets it go into the back of the net. And then it just changes the whole mood amongst the team. Anthony hits the post again just after that. Ericsson has a chance just before half-time, which he probably should have put his foot through and done a little bit better with. But then, because you're 1-0 down, your goalkeeper's making your mistakes, you're snatching at everything. You're overthinking everything. And then the possession got rushed and harried and poor. Oh, it was just so bad. And then there was a goal ruled out for West Ham for a foul on De Gea. Again, look, it's probably a foul but very soft. And De Gea's got to be stronger there. You can't be just going down looking for a foul. He did it at another... And I know I'm kind of just laying into De Gea here. I love the guy, but the time's up. 
It was a time up about a year or 18 months ago. There was another point in the game where he goes up for the ball, doesn't win it, drops like a sack of spuds. Everyone kind of stops because they think, right, that's a free kick. But no, West Ham have still got the ball. The ball's still active. The ball's still in play. So, real bad performance. And it kind of just started from David De Gea and got worse from there. Um, now, look. Bournemouth away. Wolves at home. Fulham at home. Chelsea at home. You know, we should be getting nine points out of those four games. But you have to definitely get nine points. All right. Liverpool might drop point. You got to match Liverpool. Liverpool in the form they're in at the moment look like they're going to get seven or nine points. United in the form they're in at the moment don't look like they're going to get that. Now our home form's been really good. Hopefully we can rely on that to pull us through. But again, imagine you win them games against Fulham and Wolves, draw against Chelsea, and you go to Bournemouth and draw or lose, and that's you out of the Champions League. We've put so much daft pressure on ourselves. And we've only got ourselves to blame. 2 0 up we were at Spurs, cruising, and we chuck it away. And I know there's a lot of fatigue in this team, and you kind of feel for them. You kind of maybe feel for the manager, although he's making his mistakes because we've got midweek games every week, and you can't you can't prepare for the next you know the fixtures at the weekend in between because you you're going away and all. And luckily we've got one fixture a week between now and the end of the season. But every game now holds its own pressures. Every game, Wolves are back in form, beating Aston Villa. Lapitec will be, be difficult. Fulham, they'll want to come to Old Trafford and get revenge for that cup game. You know, Bournemouth away, they're looking decent at the moment, although they lost against Chelsea. Fulham, like I said, we got Fulham at home, which we want to miss. Fulham, Wolves, Chelsea at home. They've just beat Bournemouth. Ugh. Make it difficult for ourselves, don't we? Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you're liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all that jazz. United, only themselves to blame. Look, it's clear that we need a striker. It's clear that we need another midfielder or two. If it's not clear to the the, the, uh, the Tenag that we need a goalkeeper, then I don't know what is. The only problem for him is we've got no... We don't know who the owners are going to be at the moment. We've got FFP issues you need to sell players to buy. Are we going to have enough money? Who the owner is going to be to be able to buy your striker, your midfielder and get a new goalkeeper? It's probably not going to happen and you're probably stuck with De Gea again. And if we are, I can't see you challenging for a league or the big trophies with De Gea because the minute the pressure's on, he seems to just wobble, man. Even when it's not on. Sad to see because it's been absolutely fantastic for us over the years. But time's up, it looks like. And top four is looking squeaky. God's sake. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in a bit. <laughs>